Good morning, this is Reg Kelly with uh, Table in the Wilderness. I've got another clip for you today on illegal immigration. Illegal immigration, big subject these days. Border walls, illegal immigrants, immigration, refugees. You know, what's the situation? Well, I am not, first of all, let's get this straight. I am not against legal immigration. America was built out of immigrants. I'm, my family's, and your family, I'm sure, if you go back far enough, we're immigrants. We immigrated to this country, but we need legal immigration. And when people talk about, uh, they, they, won't, they won't say illegal. The liberals and the progressives and a lot of the news media won't say illegal. Let me just say something to you. Illegal immigrants are not immigrants. They're invaders. They are invaders. And they are lawbreakers. And a can't, country cannot be a country without borders. It cannot be a nation without borders. And you cannot have order. We have to be ruled by laws. Here's what I say. If we're going to let illegal aliens come in this country and not do anything about it, then why should I stop at a stop sign? Why enforce any other laws in this nation? Now, I'm not against outside people coming in to work if they want to and having the proper paperwork to do work inside the United States. Not against that. Do I have a problem with that whatsoever? I just think we do not need invaders in this nation. We've had porous borders now for several years and people's putting up with this stuff, and I do not understand why other than God's judging this nation for our sin and for our wickedness. But I just want to say, first of all, we need to understand that when a person comes across these borders illegal, they're a law-breaking invader. They're not an immigrant. They need to get that down. And so uh, we need to be a nation, as I said, of laws, but we're being destroyed from within. Presidents, talk, you know, giving all this stuff and people coming in and then letting them get citizenship and so forth like that, that just encourages more of it. Illegal immigration is devastating to a country. Europe's about to be taken over by Muslims because of it. And so I want to encourage you, get it clear in your head. Get it clear in your head. No problem with immigration as long as it's legal. But illegal immigration is terrible. It will destroy this nation and destroy your freedoms. Mark it down. Second thing about immigration, they need to assimilate to be an American. I'm really tired of talk, of hearing all this here, double, dual, dual stuff. I'm an Irish American. I'm a German American. I'm an African American. I'm a Mexican American. You know what I am? I'm an American, period. And you ought to be an American, period. And I don't care what your background or what your racial background is or where your country of origin is. You come in this country, you come in legal, you come in through the law, and you become an American or get back home get back home. If you don't want to be an American and speak English and be under our Constitution and accept our way of life and our culture and our history and our flag and our pledge, then as far as I'm concerned, you're not an American and you need to be put out. That's just the way it is. But we're letting them swarm in here, burn our flags, throw everything that made this country great away, and then the media talks like we're bad people if we don't like that. Well, we got enough sense not to let somebody destroy our homes. So anyway, uh, just to be real quick about this, there's another illegal immigration problem. <clears throat> you got a member of a preacher? I always got to bring it. No, I, I, most people I know are against illegal immigration. But you know what? I want to go to heaven. I bet you do too. I bet you want to go to heaven. But you know what? God does not accept illegal immigration in heaven. You got to go through legally you've got to go through the way God has prescribed the Bible said Jesus said I'm the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved he said if anybody tries to climb up some other ways the same as a thief and a robber now you may be listening to me today and you say I want to go to heaven but I'm going to go to heaven because I'm just as good as the next guy well I'm not that bad you know I haven't killed anybody I haven't raped anybody I haven't broken anybody's house. I don't do drugs. Uh, let me tell you something. We've all sinned, come short of the glory of God. If it wasn't for the mercy and the grace of God, I'd be in hell right now. But by the mercy and grace of God, through the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm sitting here, I'm saved, and I know I'm going to heaven because I've got the door. Jesus Christ is the door. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and life, and no man come to the Father but by me. Ain't going to be no illegal immigration into heaven. You're not going around Jesus Christ to get to heaven. Jesus told Nicodemus he's a religious man. 
He said, you must be born again. Being born again is simple. It's just simply when the Holy Spirit of God convicts you and you know you're a sinner, you're willing to admit you're a sinner, uh, and ask God to forgive you of your sin and receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, that He's died in your place and suffered and shed His blood for you, that He's the Lamb of God that died for you in your place and took your punishment, and that He rose from the dead today. If you receive Him in, in your heart and believe on that, believe on Him as your Savior, God will save you. Now, when God saves you, He gives He He does a new birth. He He creates a new man. The Bible says within. Now, that's the only way you're going to heaven. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. We've got a lot of folks trying to be an illegal immigrant into heaven. It ain't going to work. Because I'm telling you, God, the borders are not porous around glory. Ain't nobody getting in except through Jesus. I hope you have him as your Savior. Don't try to be an illegal immigrant into heaven. It ain't going to work. It might work here in the United States. Ought not to. But it's not going to work going to heaven. If you don't have Jesus, you're not going. But you can have him. Ask him. Call on the Lord today. Here's a great verse. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. No question marks. Have a great day. Watch out about the illegal immigrants. See you next time.